Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, about this weave generator that I uh, made last night when I was trying to learn Espresso. <coughs> Espresso. So let's just go over uh, some of the things that it can do. So I'm going to click on the uh, null and click on the Espresso tag to bring up the um, user data over here. And I don't really know how to put it so that if you click it, you know, it shows up like, uh, let's say in the uh, HDRI Studio rig, you know, it shows up. But anyway, if anybody knows, let me know. Uh, so I click on the Espresso tag to bring up the properties. And so over here, there's a few options that you can play with. First one is height. Um, and this is the amplitude of the curve. Uh, and so what this will do is that and so that'll kind of raise or flatten uh, the curve uh, let's set that back to five uh, grid width what that does it adds um, additional clones or less clones whatever you want um, it is using cloner objects and so that's just driving uh, the clone value so that's what that does and then you can see over here you know some of them don't overlap so what you can do for that is uh, go over here and do grid length and that'll increase the length of the curve and so basically you can make uh, a weave pattern that's essentially infinite you know you can go crazy with it you know you, you, your uh, performance is going to suffer a little bit when you try to Ooh, what happened over there uh, okay right <laughs> I think I messed up I think I uh, screwed with the wrong setting there anyway so grid length um, adds more length we're going to go back to a more manageable size here All right. And what you can do there, uh, what I just did there was I pressed S to zoom the camera into whatever object is selected. Uh, so that's a quick tip there. Anyway, now the next property is um, the multiplier. Now what this does is um, it changes the length of the wave. And I would just suggest not messing with that right now. I don't have it completely figured out yet. Um, there are a few different patterns that you can do, but there's a little bit more stuff to play around with. So, so I'll come up with an update at some point. Um, you can also leave this one alone. You can uh, you know, mess with the formula string over here to generate uh, whatever um, your uh, formula string is and so, so you can do that over here but I'm just gonna leave that at uh, multiplied by T and then over here uh, this is cool um, over here you can change the width like that and so that's kind of cool so you can kind of make like a thin fabric texture you know um, and so this is this is parametric you can change that to, to get kind of different looks um, and then the other thing you can do the next one is the thickness and so that changes how thick your material is you can make it like super thin or you can make it thicker uh, let's get a better angle over here better light yeah <clears throat> there you go okay so thickness controls that and then chamfer controls the edge um, and so if you have like zero over here you know you get this kind of bland you know there's no highlights or anything so that's why I kind of added this it gives uh, it gives it that chamfer to reflect some light off of and if you have some nice shiny texture on there you know you'll get an even even better result so uh, yeah you can play around with that um, 
So yeah, you got your thickness, your width slider, and then your chamfer. All right, guys, um, that's it. Uh, you can change the matte color, obviously, to whatever you want. Um, you know, the material color. It's pretty, pretty simple, um, pretty straightforward. So anyway, uh, I hope you have fun with this. And uh, let me know if you, you know, want to make changes. I'm sure you can go into the Expresso tag and, you know, play around with it. So if you make it better, let me know and uh, share it with us. All right, guys. I'll see you later.